I usually say Jane Austen this time period because I've always loved her books and I'm very into that the style of dress and just the, the beautiful manners that people had. Um, but then I thought about it for a while and realized that given my lack of internal filter and the things that I say on a regular basis, I would get myself into a lot of trouble. So I think that the ideal time period would, for me would probably be the 40s, the World War II or era. Um, everyone seems a lot more cooperative and hopeful when you, whenever you, you read about that era and, and see it in movies. And the clothes were cut for the generously figured gal, so I think I would fit in pretty well. I was working as a Baptist church secretary, and it was my job at the time to drive the church newsletter from the church to the, the bulk mail post office. And I was driving, and it was raining, just cats and dogs, I could barely see out the windshield, and um, my, my agent called on the cell phone, and my husband's a police officer, so he's always on me about not answering the phone while I'm driving, so the, the urge to not take the call, take the call, it was a very difficult internal debate, um, but I finally reached over and grabbed it, and it was my agent Stephanie, and she said um, that there had been an offer, and uh, I said, should I pull over? She said yes, and I squealed so loudly that the people that were getting out of the car in the next stall stopped. So it was, uh, it was a really neat sort of girly moment. I enjoy reading romance novels. Um, I think a lot of romance authors really enjoy reading the books in their own genre. That's why they write in that genre. So really, um, Nora Roberts and Olivia Goldsmith. Uh, I also enjoy Stephen King and um, basically just anything that, any sort of potato chip book. You, you turn the pages and you just can't stop because it's just one potato chip after another. Well, most people don't know that I am terrified of clowns. I have what's known as chlorophobia. It is a legitimate phobia of people in the rainbow colored wigs and uh, red noses. I have never been traumatized by a clown. I wasn't allowed to watch it when I was a child. I don't know what it is, but for some reason, when I see a clown, I will cross the street to avoid it. The problem with being afraid of something funny is that people think it's hilarious to shove you towards that thing. People just think, oh, you're funny, you're afraid of clowns, that's funny. You know? <laughs> it's not funny when I leave a molly-shaped hole in the door and get out. It's not fun for me, and it's not fun for the clown. I know that that's legitimate, that's a real person inside that clown suit, and I don't want to hurt their feelings.